Hi boys and girls, today we're going to read a story that I enjoyed very much and I hope that you enjoy it as well and it is called Mole and the Baby Bird by Marjorie Newman. You can find this story on page 60 in your book. You, that's where you'll find your title page that I'm on right now and then the story is going to start right on the next page. So the genre you know, it's a fancy word for type of story this is, is an animal fantasy. That means that the animal characters in this story are going to do things that real animals wouldn't be doing. So they're going to be talking and acting like people. So we know that it's a made up silly fantasy story about animals. So animal fantasy. So this next story is about a mole who finds and takes care of a baby bird. And here you can see this mole in the picture and the little baby bird in his wagon and the question of the week we're going to think about as we read is how can we look at things in a different way it's an interesting one it's a very good question this week we can think about that and come back to it after let's let's enjoy our story mole found a baby bird it had fallen out of his nest mole waited and waited but no big bird came to help it. So Mole took the baby bird home. He made a nest for it. Look, he said to his mother. There's the nest in the little box. It is very, very hard to take care of a baby bird, she said. They usually die, said his dad. My bird won't die, said Mole. His friends helped him find food for the baby. His mother showed him how to feed it. Mole fed it whenever it chirped. And the bird didn't die. It grew. It's my pet bird, said Mole. It's not a pet bird. It's a wild bird, said his mother. The bird fluttered its wings. Your bird is trying to fly, said his mother. No, cried Mole. It mustn't fly. He doesn't want his bird to fly away. Mole found some wood and some nails. He borrowed his dad's toolbox. What are you making? asked his dad. I'm making a cage for my pet bird, said Mole. It's not a pet bird. It's a wild bird, said his dad. You should let it fly. No, cried Mole. He put his bird into its new cage. The bird was sad. Mole's mother was sad too. But Mole kept his bird because he loved it. Then Granddad came to visit. He looked at Mole's pet bird. Presently, Granddad said, Let's go for a walk, little Mole. Grandad took Mole to the top of a high hill. Mole looked down at the trees far below. He felt the wild wind trying to lift him. Wee! I'm flying, cried Mole. Nearly, said Grandad. When Mole got home, he looked at his bird. It was sitting very still in its cage in Mole's dark underground room. Birds are meant to fly, said Mole. He opened the cage door and he let his bird fly away because he loved it. Then he cried. The next day, Mole went into the forest. He saw his bird flying, soaring free, and Mole was glad. The end. So I want to look at this right here. He On this page, on page 76, he opened the door and let his bird fly because he loved it. I've heard that before. If we go back a few pages, when he built the cage... So he put his bird into his cage. The bird was sad. Mole's mother was sad too, but Mole kept his bird. Why? Because he loved it. 
So after going out to visit with his granddad and looking and seeing all the birds happy and wild and free, he said, you know what? I do love my bird. And if you love something, you want to do what's best for them. Not, a, not always what's best for you. Mo wanted to keep the bird. That's, you know, he wasn't trying to be selfish, but he kind of, he was. He was being selfish. He was only thinking of himself. He wasn't thinking of the bird at all on this page. But then when he went with his granddaddy and went and let his bird be free and, and fly, that's when he was finally thinking of other people. He was thinking of his bird and what would make the bird happy. And birds were meant to fly. So because he loved that bird so much, he did what was best for the bird. And you know what? He wasn't even sad. Well, he was at first. He cried. But then the next day when he went out and saw his bird so happy and free and flying in the wild, he didn't feel sad. He was glad. It made him happy to see the thing that he loved happy. Okay? That's why I really love that story. It has some amazing things in there and lessons, right? About when you love people, doing what's best for them. Talks about his feelings. Absolutely love this story. I hope you enjoyed it too. There are some questions on page 78 that you can read through and talk about with somebody in your family. You don't have to write them all out, but you read through and make sure that you know the answers to them, right? All right. Talk to you soon.